No, we must fight. We won't let them take us from this website. Won't retire. The other topic I'd like to speak about is music, vlogging and music. Now, a lot of us, I was a DJ for many years, and a lot of us would love to use a little bit of a song, a little bit of what they call background noise. Nobody understands what Creative Commons is or fair use is, and it just gets more muddled and muddled and confused. But I believe that music is exposure to the artist, without a doubt. Some of the record companies haven't even figured that out yet. But I believe that Universal Music Group, and tell me if I'm wrong, may have just started to figure that out. But there's a possibility that what I'm going to tell you, which is that you can possibly use music from Universal Music Group according to a joint agreement between Google, YouTube, and UMG, that might not be true. Please watch this video and tell me what you think, because I do believe that UMG, you can now use their music in vlogs, and unless they have a huge problem with the type of vlog, or if you monetize it as a partner, then you're going to have to take it down. But I don't believe your channel will be closed down anymore. If you, as you've been noticing, less and less channels are being taken down for using music. But there is one incident recently about a baby dancing to a song from Prince. And that was harshly, harshly taken down because the artist, formerly known as Prince, did not want that song out there. Music is to be used at your own risk if what I say to you is true. Hey guys, I want to come back and talk to you about something that I've been preaching and professing for a long time and that is anybody, anybody who uses a bit of a song in a vlog, anybody is actually helping the artist. Some artists and some record companies seem to be coming around to this idea, they're like waking up, something that, that me with, with a very limited amount of intelligence knew five years ago, if, whenever. If you, nobody's, this is not Napster, okay? Nobody's file sharing any, anything on this website. If you're a vlogger and you got a bit of a song in the background on the radio or, or you want to vlog with a little bit of a music, if you give credit to the artist, it should be enough. Now I know in this world of confusing fair use laws and, and creative comments, it's, it's difficult because only because the record companies make it difficult, but it's easy in a world, in this day and age, where you can buy a song at iTunes.com for 99 cents to ensure that whatever music is being used in a video, that, that account should not be shut down. The record label should actually be embracing everything. John Lennon once said, music belongs to the people. It's only the record companies that think it doesn't. We're not saying that the artist should not make money. We're saying that you gotta buy a song. You gotta go out there and you gotta go buy a CD. But if you use a bit of a song, that should be absolutely no crime. Of course, it is. That's just my thought until now. And on this side, I think it's the side of the video, I will put a link and I will put exactly part of the terms of service and the deal reached between YouTube and Universal Music Group, okay? I stumbled upon this quite a while ago when one of my favorite bloggers, 21st Century Cat, was using a song from U2. And he's a guy, he's a guy that's not going to break a TOS on YouTube for absolutely anything in the world. You never know. There might be shady areas. I say right now, use at your own risk. But if you read the legalese and you read the language and this agreement and this deal, this settlement that YouTube's done with UMG, it looks promising. And if it's the way I think it is and the way it's actually written down in black and white, UMG is a team player and has realized that music and vloggers using music is exposure to the artist. Think about it. All those grandmothers on YouTube, and yes there are, dancing to Johnny Cash and Elvis Presley in the background. 
Why take that away? People like Brookers got featured and got called by MTV and NBC by lip syncing to Mariah Carey. I've been a champion of this thing because I believe in it, because I was a, a DJ for a long time. And I know that artists need to get paid. You gotta get paid. That's why I would suggest vlogging with iTunes. Even if you can use a song from UMG, put the song on the video, the name of the song, the name of the artist, and encourage people to go to iTunes and buy it. That's it. Thank you for watching. I'm leaving with a bang soon. It's not every day I vlog in the ocean with my clothes on for a cause. And you better believe I believe in this. Talk to you soon, guys.